The Kumasi Airport can now operate flights at night after the rehabilitation of the runway and installation of aeronautical ground lighting system. President John Mahama, who commissioned the project, was optimistic this would open the Ashanti region to trade and accessibility. A report by Edward Kwabi and Benjamin Indu. The government of Ghana in 2013 started with the upgrading of the Kumasi airport, which included the needed infrastructure for safe domestic and regional flights. The rehabilitation was at the cost of $29 million. The cost covered the reconstruction of the runway and installation of aeronautical ground lighting system. The airport, which used to run a 12-hour flight shuttle, will from now operate night flights to and from Kumasi. President Mahama officially commissioned the refurbished runway by landing around 9.30 p.m. with a presidential jet on his return from Abuja, the capital of Nigeria. <laughs> Minister of Transport Jifa Ativo said government is dedicated to developing the Kumasi airport to meet international standards. The Asante Heno Tunfo said to the second was happy the development would spare trade and encourage tourism. No. President Mahama noted the new development would make Kumasi Airport one of the safest within the sub region. We've also installed new scanners for security checks so that all the luggage can be scanned safely before it is put on the plane. Nana, as I talk, Kumasi Airport is open for international flights. He said this would open Kumasi to investment opportunities. This expansion work we have done would lead to the creation of new jobs and it will generate more revenue for the Ghana Airport Company Limited. We also expect that increased competition would inure to the benefits of air travelers by reduced uh, airfares. It would also improve the incomes in the local economy as well as improve market opportunities and investments for Kumasi. Currently, the Kumasi airport received about 40,000 passengers monthly and this is expected to double with the 24-hour airport operations. Under a second phase, a new terminal would be constructed for international flights. Edward Kwabi, TV3 News, Kumase.